Hey folks, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the favor and experience changes coming in 1.1. Hopefully at the end of this video, you will have an idea of what the strategy going forward is for farming favor and what the experience changes generally look like. I do have a spreadsheet at the end with a tool that you can use to calculate the exact expected experience modifier from different levels of corruption, and hopefully that will be useful. So anyway, took a lot of time to gather this data and put this calculator together, so if you do like the video, please let me know by leaving a like and leaving a comment on what you want to see next for the last epoch maths. Anyway, let's jump into it. So the changes, if you didn't know, each rank in faction now provides plus 5% favor gain up to rank 12, so 60% extra favor gain. The downside is that now experience scales less with corruption, uh, so as higher corruption, you gain less uh, favor. So I have done the math on that. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, a little bit more context. Um, the experience tomes, they are much less frequent, so you won't see as many of the XP tome rewards, which is extremely important for uh, gathering experience and also uh, favor for COF. This is reduced. However, you can have up to seven tomes uh, further from the center of the web. So I think that there may be a strategy for speed clearing and getting to the distant echoes and grabbing these tomes. Uh, we'll talk about this a little bit more later, but let's uh, jump right into the spreadsheet. I'll talk about the exact changes to the calculations. Uh, so I did try and calculate the form, uh, formula in the current game with uh, how corruption and XP scale. It was a little bit weird. Uh, initially, I thought there would just be a clean formula that I could find and plug it in and then get a number, but that wasn't the case. It seems to be that there's a tiered formula uh, so it's uh, from X number to X number, the formula is a certain thing. And then from X number to uh, Y number, it's another thing and so on. So uh, what I had to do was actually go into offline mode. I edited my game files and then I checked all the different corruptions at these different thresholds just to confirm. And then I realized it seems like those values were changing in 100 corruption increments. So I recorded all those values here of what they actually are. And then I ended up with a nice clean uh, extra XP per corruption scaling at those 100 intervals. Uh, so if you're guessing, probably not that interested in the math of how I actually did this, but this does seem to be pretty accurate. I then checked a few uh, examples of corruption values in online. Uh, so I had a friend that's at 8,000 corruption. I confirmed that my math is correct, and it is. Uh, it's also correct on my 4,000 corruption character. So this math does seem to be accurate. Anyway, uh, I then went on and did the 1.1 XP. So you can see I applied a penalty factor to the additional experience added per corruption above the thresholds mentioned. So above 300, there is a 75% penalty. And above 1,000, there is now a 95% penalty. So you can see what it is here. This is what it looks like. And then this is what the actual experiences you would expect at these corruption values in the current uh, 1.0 game. And this is what you would expect in 1.1. So you can see uh, it is, um, the values are the same. This is pre-rank modifier, by the way. So you can see the values are the same up until 300, then it starts to scale down. And then at 1,000, it basically stops increasing. So. Uh, if you look at the values with the rank modifier, what's interesting is it actually starts a bit higher. This is assuming rank 12. You're not going to have rank 12 on your first character, but like say you make an alt, this is what you're looking at. Uh, and you can see here in the chart, the yellow is with the rank bonus. So here I have rank 12 plugged in here. I'll share you guys uh, this calculator so you can uh, put your own numbers in and see. Uh, but you can tell from rank 12, the break even point is going to be at about 530 corruption. So above that, you're going to get less experience and favor versus 1.0. And below that, you're going to get more. If your rank is much lower, say your rank 1, you're going to see that you get very, very little experience and favor um, versus uh, 1.0. So that is a little bit harsh to deal with. And what you can also see is if you put a very large number, like 5,000, Previously, you had a huge XP multiplier of over 6,000. Now it is only about 1,100. So what that means is that there's very, very little incentive for you to push beyond 1,000 corruption. 
in 1.0, you still get the LP bonus, but it already has uh, diminishing returns uh, baked into that that's pretty steep. So I think the name of the game uh, for all of you guys trying to maximize your uh, favor, say you're playing COF, is probably going to be um, going at most to 1,000 corruption and then just focusing on your clear speed. You want as much damage and movement speed as possible. You want to blast through those echoes, kill everything you can while you're doing it. Rather than pushing into more difficult content, you want to be the fastest that you can possibly be. Uh, yeah, and then other than that, I think the strat might be, like the min-max strat might be to push to 1,000 corruption or so, ideally if your build is strong, and if not, maybe 300. Uh, and then once you get there, you just do all the outer, um, outer web nodes and grab the XP tomes. Because now the XP tomes relative to monster experience are going to be significantly higher. As far as blessings, I do believe it's still going to be worth grabbing the experience blessing for COF players, even after level 100. Uh, so the experience blessing will still modify the favor gain uh, that you get. So you'll have all the monster kill experience multiplied by 1.1, and then that will increase your favor gain. So definitely make sure you grab that. Whenever you see an experience shrine, you're still going to want to grab that as well. Um, and yeah, that seems to be the 1.1 strat. I will link the spreadsheet, as I said in the description. Um, make sure that you do make a copy so that you can edit these values in green. Otherwise, it won't let you if you're just looking at my original copy. Uh, and you can plug in your rank here, as I said. You can plug in your corruption here, as I said, and it will tell you the actual values. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Cheers.